Hey everyone, it's Anita Wing Lee here, and today I want to talk about networking, how to get started, and how to get over that fear of networking so you can enjoy the whole process and have fun. I'm going to share three powerful mindset shifts that I've used in my own life to get over that fear and put myself out there and land some of my dream internships and jobs over the last couple years. mindset shift that really helped me learn to enjoy the process of networking and putting myself out there is something that I learned from Susan Cain, who wrote the book Quiet, The Power of Introverts. And she invites us to think of networking as just going out there and finding our kindred spirits. That's it. It's like we're going out into the world to find the people that we're meant to be best friends with and they're waiting to meet us too. And so whether it's, you know, sending emails, meeting people in person, or through social media. Uh, the second mindset shift is that I want you to realize that there are people who want to know you. There are people who have been waiting their whole lives to hear your message and, and to have conversations with you and have coffee with you and, and enjoy meals with you and share their life story with you. There are people who want to hire you. There are jobs that you are uniquely qualified for. Maybe you think you're not qualified, you're not smart enough. All of that is baloney. There are jobs out there that are exactly meant for you. And this was my own experience. I found, you know, when, with my travel internships, I thought that I had all these crazy travel experiences, nobody would want to hire me, who's going to want this crazy girl with all these random eclectic travel experiences on her resume, and in fact those turned out to be exactly what qualified me for the next internship. So know that everything that you've experienced up until this point actually makes you more qualified for what you want to do, and as you go out to network, what you're doing is number three, you're just opening the doors to life's magic. Whether you want to call it God, Spirit, the universe, it doesn't matter to me what word you use. Just know that the universe works through people. Miracles happen when you go out there and interact with people and introduce yourself. Now, the important thing is that you don't introduce yourself as something that you're not. The reason that networking tends to have a bad rap is people think of it as going to events that you don't want to show up at, with business cards that don't reflect who you are, introducing yourself as something that doesn't feel true to you. That is not networking. Networking in the sense that I'm talking about in the sense that really works is it's just about going out there to build genuine connections, find those kindred spirits, and that only happens when you introduce yourself as who you really are. When you're not afraid to ex talk about your passions, when you're not afraid to tell the people about what you love, that's what makes networking really powerful. Because that's how other kindred spirits are gonna find you too. You know, they can see themselves in you and suddenly they want to know you, they want to be your friend, they want to mentor you, they want to collaborate with you. And so I hope that these three mindset shifts help you to think about networking a little bit differently because no matter what form it is that you're doing, whether it's email or in person or through social media, in the end it's all about putting yourself out there so that people can find you, connect with you, and those who want to work with you can find you as well. I hope this video serves you. Leave me a comment below if you enjoyed it and you'd like to know more about how I network to land dream gigs and launch my dream career. You can also head on over to the blog at anitawinglee.com and leave me a comment there as well. I'd love to hear from you. Hope this video serves you and I will see you soon.